Jim Clouk, a.k.a. Checka Pro Joe here on the Checka Pro radio show. I've got Oscar from Eco Air joining me. Hey, Oscar, how you doing, bud? I'm doing good, Jim. How are you? I am living the dream. Thanks for joining me today. I bring you on when I've got questions that come in from our listeners. And this is kind of a no-brainer, but I have to ask this question anyway because it's so important for people to understand this. And if we have to keep telling people over and over again, then we must. And that is, why is maintenance so important on my air conditioning units? Oh, man. That's a, that's a heck, of, heck of a question you have there, Jim. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it's everything. <laughs> <laughs> that, do, you know, having proper maintenance on that system, you know, either it's every three, every six months is, is, uh, is, is so important, right? It's like, it's like going to the doctor and getting a checkup. You know, you know, you don't know, you rather, you know, you don't know whether it's going to be um, something small or something bigger that you can, you know, tackle on, you know, before the problem gets, you know, gets, uh, gets, um, you know, um, it rises up to something that's going to be a lot more expensive than you thought. Right. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely everything that that's going to depict whether or not the system's going to last you, you know, five years to 20 years. So, um, it's extremely important. I can't, I can't express how, how that, you know, that much, that much more. So, you know, people go into the dentist, well, not everybody, but some people go in twice a year for yeah. their cleaning and their exam, uh, twice a year minimum for your HVAC system, heating, ventilation, air conditioning system, twice a year minimum. People often do it in the spring and the fall for the same thing for a cleaning and a checkup. The cleaning might be cleaning the coils outside, cleaning the coils inside, uh, changing the air filters. They should be done um, on that system's schedule, uh, you know, which means, and as you know, that could be monthly. It could be every six months, depending upon the type of filter you have, but getting it cleaned and having it checked out. You go to the dentist, they look at your teeth, they clean your teeth. Mm -hmm. And that's what needs to be done. If they see a cavity, they say, we need to go in and drill this and fill it. If you guys see a cavity, which wouldn't be good, like a hole in, a, in the coil, <laughs> not a big problem. Right, right, we right. have to remedy that. Um, someone might have an issue where they're like, you know what? Every year someone comes out and they pump more Freon into my system, you know, more refrigerant. What's going on? Might be a small leak. Let us do a check. Oh, sure enough, there is. There's a couple choices. We can kind of keep right. limping along or we can replace the coil. But at least you can give them the choice, right? And you got to keep an eye on stuff. Waiting for the system to go down on a Sunday afternoon is a bad idea, hey. right? That's why maintenance is so important. What are some of the things you might find in a maintenance checkup? Oh, man, Jim. So... You know, anything from dirty filters, dirty blower motor, uh, dirty, dirty blower motor wheels, housings, um, cracked heat exchangers, um, uh, unsealed duct work. That's a big oh, one. Yeah. Because you have insulation going into the home, people, you know, and return breathing that stuff. So then it starts, you know, affecting the health and safety of, of that family. So, uh, man. You you can find all all types of stuff, and, and especially when you're inside those attics, you got full family of raccoons in there. It's 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 crazy, man. It's crazy, you know that can that can definitely uh, you know decrease um, you know the longevity of that system. Absolutely, it's an intricate system. We talk about this um, years ago. To heat a house was simple, and to cool it, we didn't have air conditioning a long time ago. We the houses were designed for for ventilation, airflow, you know, windows and, you know, maybe some type of attic fan, ceiling fans and so forth. Um, but today the houses are built different. So if you have a relatively new house, it's, a, you know, it's airtight and yeah. the systems are designed kind of specifically for that house. You go into an old house, you might have a, you know, it, it, uh, it, an air conditioning unit in the window. OK, that's that wasn't designed for the house. It'll cool that room. But today, when the house is built, everything is very scientific. So that heating system, the air conditioning system is designed specifically for that three bedroom house for so many people to be living in it. And it's a science. So everything has to be really like 
bolted and screwed down right. So when you go into the attic and you look at ductwork, for instance, mm -hmm. um, it's not done willy-nilly. I mean, it was designed a certain way. If it was designed right, you had to maintain it. That's a fact, Jim, 100%. Yeah. And so I always say minimum twice a year. When you have a qualified technician from EcoAir come out twice a year, you're less likely to have that system go down at an sure. inopportune time, which it's almost always on a weekend, a holiday yeah. weekend. Yeah, and, that's why you least expect it for sure. Yep. And you don't know if maybe your refrigerant's a little low. Okay. Yeah. Over time, you may not notice, but it could be more efficient. And when you get that all checked and topped off, and hopefully it's not leaking anymore, you're going to feel a big difference in your comfort and your utility bills as well. And it's all these little things we just don't know about as homeowners. So it's just really important. And that's why I wanted to have you on today to explain that. I appreciate that, Jim. Yep. Anything to help? Oscar, thank you so much. I appreciate it, bud. My pleasure, brother.